In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to design a church flyer with just one picture like this. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here. Thank you so much for showing up. So a link to download all the resources that I'll be using in this video will be in the description in case you want to download any follow suit. And to make the tutorial very simple, I've just written my test over here. So let's get into Photoshop. First things first, we're going to create this on an A3 paper. So you go to file and then new and then you can create your A3 paper. So I'm going to select A3 from here. If you're using CC 2019, 2020 or even the latest 2021, this wouldn't be a problem. So we create a size or document and let's start by adding a gradient overlay. So we add a gradient over here. Let's go to the gradient pack and I've already saved my gradient. So I'm just going to pick it up. So this is the gradient that I'm using. In case you want to see the colors, there you go. This is the first color and this is going to be the second color. Simple, right? Now, after you're done with this, you can save your color or your gradients if you want to use it in the future. So let's go ahead and click OK. Over here, we're not going to change anything. The style, the angle, or the scale, everything remains the same. And let's click OK. So let's get started with setting up the background and we're going to make use of the blending mode to make this very simple for us. So let's go into a resource file. Like I said, a link to download it will be in the description. So the first thing that I want to add is this mountain river concept background here. So I'll drag and drop it inside of Photoshop and I'll leave it somewhere around here. This looks very small. So if you're downloading something, try to get, let's say, a higher definition okay so i'm going to drag it beneath here and the reason why i'm making use of it though it is small is because it it wouldn't show up it is not something like that will come up the more it's just going to be a background so we have no problem with that so i right click on this one rasterize the layer i'll go to the blending mode and i'm going to change this to overlay so you see it blends smoothly with the background and then we can add a layer mask here to brush it off let's go for the brush tool and then we make sure that the foreground color is black and we can brush off this area so that it blends seamlessly with the background if you feel like this is too much you can reduce the opacity from here as well but let's maintain this for the meantime now let's go into the resource again we have this second loose him background let's drag and drop it inside of photoshop and we're going to maintain that one at the very top this is going to be a bit visible because the program says lose him so this is going to be quite visible now you can play around with the blending modes depending on the background that you got so we try soft light which isn't good let's try overlay it doesn't fit for us so we can go for something like multiply multiply here looks quite okay so we can try to press ctrl t to transform him up a bit and you can position him to the very top left over here we can right click rasterize the layer and we can add a layer mask to it and brush him off like that so we don't want all these parts so basically the top part that he has opened his arms because remember the program is losing so we want this to show up now what we're going to do next is we're going to reduce the opacity so we can drag this down a bit and around 40 41 this looks good for me as usual it depends on the background that you choose to get next off you can go in and bring in the main subject which is the pasta so over here i've already taken the background if you want to learn how to do that a link will be in the description so i'm going to place him here since he's just one person we can choose to center him or we can place him at the corner but then looking at the picture bringing him in the middle will be perfect right so we're going to place him over here right click on it and rasterize it and we're going to add a layer mask so layer mask is very important because we use it to clear a lot of stuff so i'm just going to clear him off now you can see from here that with a picture that he sent 
there has been a bit of cuts so you can advise your pastors to send pictures which doesn't really have cuts so that it will be quite easier for the designers right so we need to fix all of these parts probably this part but let's just leave him like this okay now you can see going back to the background you can see right from here that there has been some inconsistencies with this background because from here you can see that this looks very very deep okay and we set this to say 45 or 41 right so we can actually decrease the opacity of this one as well so around 40 41 so that it can actually blend because at the end of the day we're going to add a final effect to this which will actually affect both of these backgrounds so once you have it that way you can go ahead and add our main title now i did this in photoshop using the 3d option so you can easily just click on the 3d panel and convert your test a very simple test to a 3d and rotate it okay i'm sure i'll drop a tutorial very soon but for now you can either choose to use this one or probably use any simple test okay this is just a simple test with a simple color and a 3d so i'm going to drag it on top over here on top of the pasta and i'll send it down so under the pasta layer so i'll send it over here i'll press ctrl a make sure that i center it over there so i'm going to open it up a little bit like that and i'm going to drag it down because you're going to place some test over here as well from here if you go to the resources you see that we have some chains over here so we're going to add the chains as well so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop over here and i'll send it to the extreme right over there i'll double click on it and i'll click ok so with the help of any of the removal tools let's say the magic wand here i can easily make a selection and delete it so like that and i want to get a part of just a part of this one so i can actually go for my polygonal axle tool here make a selection from this side so somewhere around here go around the image like that and i'm going to press ctrl j to make a duplicate so i'll send this to the work that we are working on the document over here and i want it underneath of the loosing so it's already under here i'll press ctrl t and i can transform it something simple like that and it you make sure that the very end like that is going in here and then i can make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j press ctrl t to transform it and i can right click flip it horizontal so that the copy will be sent to the other side so i can bring this one over here as well try to transform it to make it a little bit smaller so somewhere around here and i can select these two select my blending mode and i can set this to overlay so you know i just forgot that i left out one of the backgrounds so i just updated the list here right over there so i want it underneath of, of this particular open arms so i'm going to select this layer and i'm going to bring in this particular background in here and i'm going to place it over there i'll open it up something like that and i can send it on top over here don't worry about how bold it is we're just going to set it to overlay here and we're going to right click rasterize the layer go to filter we don't want it to be that very solid so gaussian blur over here and then we can add a bit of blur to it so something like this very blurry right so something like that and we can click ok once it has finished blurring we can just add a layer mask like that and we can actually use the brush to paint off this side something simple like that and from there we can just go ahead and add a test to this so i'm going to use a very simple test poppings i just want to keep the tutorial very simple if you want you can try different font to see how it comes out but for the sake of the tutorial let's go for poppings so by selecting poppings we just go ahead and add a test let's go into the test over here the first one is the living christ foundation so you're just going to paste it out and you're going to set this to around 23 or 24 anyhow you want to set it okay now this has been very very closed so go to the toggle character here 
and you can open the character by opening this one it is called the leading so you open the leading like that let me just zoom in here so that you can see what we're doing so we have our test here i'm keeping it left aligned okay so i can actually position it over here we're going to add the logo so you can try to position it somewhere around here and then you make a duplicate drag it down and you're going to set this one to present so like i said you can actually try different fonts but just to keep the tutorial very simple let's use one font and i'm going to change the color to something yellow like that press ctrl a and i can center it so somewhere around here and why don't we just add the logo to it so that we will be free so let me add the logo here for the records i did not design the logo please don't come at me okay so i'm going to close it up like this and i'm going to position it over here so very simple like that let's bring this present down a little bit and center it and from there we can just make a duplicate of the present here and drag it over here i intentionally put the bible verse over there people don't like looking at the bible verse okay so what we're going to do is inside our test we're just going to select the john 14 14 so the concept of this design is at john 14 14 please go and read that okay so we're going to select it all and then we're going to place it over here very simple like that now we need to give it a color that is actually going to show so we can give it something very dark as simple as that you get a concept right so we need to add the name of the pastor who will be supervising this whole thing so we make another duplicate drag it over here and we can place with right and we can actually give it a color yellow okay yellow is fine and we can actually make a duplicate again by pressing ctrl j drag it over here go into the test and apostle james grundo so we can select and paste it right over here select it all change the color to white and i think papa looks quite big here so let me try and close him up a little bit so something like this good and from there we have a bit of space to bring our width and apostle james grundo over here so let's slide it right over there so now the question is is this a conference or let's say a revival or any other type of program and this is a revival so we want to create the awareness here and by that we can just still use any bold fonts that can show up because people have to know the type of program that they are attending so i'm going to copy my three days revival here and i can actually open it up to be quite bigger and by this time i can actually change this one to that is the tracking to about 40 and i can place it in the center so i'll center it very simple like that and i can give it a yellow color so yellow from here let me see if i get it right so yellow from there is okay now we can go to the blending option and add a bit of shadow so that it can actually be seen you can see the difference right so you add a bit of shadow very small one and you are good to go after all we've not actually used any blending option on this design i told you we are designing something very very simple now from there we want to create a state and time and venue which is going to be very simple so you go ahead and separate the three days revival with a rectangle and you can set it in the middle change the color to white simple and then you can push it up like this and from there we can add a test so we can go for the test tool here and we are still using poppins but this time around regular okay so let's go into the test and we have this one right over here copy it and we can paste it right like that so you can select it all make sure that we center it in the middle and we can press ctrl t to transform it very simple and very neat like that so we want to make this one quite bold because the date is very important so semi bold and you can change the color to white so that that will stand out okay so we can try and transform it very simple 
and that will be pretty much it if you have any other information let's say for more information let me bring it here for more information for more info contact and i'll add my number okay so for more info contact this number so nine five nine eight and three nine so if you have any other information you can actually add it over here and let's set this one to medium transform it and position it in the middle so something simple like that set this to white and you are good to go now the last thing that we're going to add will be our effect so let's scroll down here and from this part starting right from here we can actually set it as the background so we can select all of this and group that and call it background so if you turn the whole of this one off that is the background now on top of our background we want to add curves to it because it looks quite pale so let's add some sort of curves so let's choose our curves here and we're going to drag this down a little bit so that it will be quite darker this is because of the lens flare that we'll be adding to it we want it to shine okay and then we're going to add some sort of hue and saturation we're going to increase the saturation a little bit so let's add some saturation so that it looks quite saturated so from there we can just go ahead and add our final effect which is the lens flare now we want it to reflect on all of these ones so including the loose seam so i want to place it on top of the loose seam here excluding the picture okay so i'm going to drag my lens flare here into photoshop and it's on top of the loose seam so i'll open it up some more and i'm going to set this one to screen the blend mode to screen so everything vanishes excluding the lighting source now right click and rasterize the layer i'll go to filter blur and then gaussian blur here and i can blur it out like that okay so the more you blur it the more it becomes brighter so i can actually position it over here and i can open it up like this try to position it at the very back of the main speaker if you feel like you have some couple of things around it that you need to get rid of you can just add a layer mask to it so add a layer mask for instance this bottom part if you want to get rid of it you can just brush it off so that it blends seamlessly with the background and you can do the same thing for this side just control where you want it to appear and that's pretty much it that's how to create a very simple 3d flyer with just one picture let me know in the comment section if you have any comments or questions i'll be glad to assist you and thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video if you want to get to 20k you can do that with the help of you by sharing the videos and inviting others to come and learn for free again thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one it's innocent here and bye